Am I doing the next? Am I doing the next? Okay. Am I doing create or is day? You create day and night. Comes to us as life. I do. Okay. In the darkness. Amen. 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 And also, thank you. You call us to be faithful children, warmed by the fire of your Holy Spirit. You call on us to be loving and forgiving as wisdom sheds light on us with a never-ending flame. You are love, you are light, you are wisdom. This beautiful day may all be welcome in the name of the three in one. It's true harmony. The times when we have lost our way, the wounding times when we have caused division, the cold times of our love. So may we find peace with each other, peace with the world, Oh God, we have looked away from you and looked to ourselves. We confess all in us that separates us from you, from each other, and from the world. In faith, we turn to you that we may grow in love, be generous in forgiveness, and welcome the healing and wholeness which you offer. Great spirit of compassion, you accept and welcome us as we are with our light and our shadow. Yet you also call us to fullness of life in you. May we know the forgiveness that frees us, the courage that owns our responsibilities, the truth that releases us from ignorance, and the love that heals. Amen. 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 May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace and to, to God's God. people on, on earth. Sovereign God, ruler of all, Abba God, creator, we worship you, we give you thanks, we pray, praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, Abba's firstborn child, Lord God, 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Creator. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God our Abba. Amen. Amen. Come, God of the poor. Come, light of our hearts. Come, voice of the silence. Come, generous spirit. By the glory of your creation around us, by the comfort of your presence within us, by the wind of your spirit here now in this place. Inspire and renew us that we come joyful to this celebration. Our first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea about Jesus of Nazareth, how he became, how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. Because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself. And the fact that they killed him by hanging on him on a tree, yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness and that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks, be, to God. Thanks be to God. The responsorial Psalm today is uh, Psalm 118. And the response is, Alleluia. 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 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mer mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Alleluia. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. This is the inclusive language church. This boasting of yours is an ugly thing. Do you not know that a little yeast has its effect all through the dough? Get rid of the old yeast to make for yourselves fresh dough. Unleavened bread, as it were. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ is risen, Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the gospel according to John, chapter 20. Early in the morning, on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, 
Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. So she ran off to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and told them, The rabbi has been taken from the tomb. We don't know where they have put Jesus. At that, Peter and the other disciples started out toward the tomb. They were running side by side, but then the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He didn't enter, but bent down to peer in and saw the living wrappings lying on the ground. Then Simon Peter arrived and entered the tomb. He observed the linen wrappings on the ground and saw the piece of cloth that had covered Jesus' head lying not with the wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the disciple who had arrived first at the tomb went in. He saw and believed. As yet, they didn't understand the scripture that Jesus was to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to their homes. Meanwhile, Mary stood weeping beside the tomb. Even as she wept, she stooped to peer inside. And there she saw two angels in dazzling robes. One was seated at the head and the other at the foot of the place where Jesus' body had lain. They asked her, why are you weeping? She answered, because they have taken away my rabbi and I don't know where they have put, put the body. No sooner had she said this than she turned around and caught sight of Jesus standing there. But she didn't know it was Jesus. He asked her, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? She supposed it was the gardener, so she said, Please, if you're the one who carried Jesus away, tell me where you've laid the body, and I will take it away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned to him <laughs> and said, Rabboni, which means teacher. Yes. Jesus then said, Don't hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to Abba God. Rather, go to the sisters and brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Abba and to your Abba, my God and your God. Mary of Magdala went to the disciples. I have seen the teacher, she announced. Then she reported what the Savior had said to her. And this is the good news of Jesus Christ. Gloria. Praise and praise, praise to our Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Um, we're going to do the homily just a little bit differently today because um, because we've had a series of very long liturgies this week. So I'm going to share a brief reflection. Lori will share a brief reflection, and then I we're going to close the um, dialogue homily. But then afterwards, let's hang around and chat because our readings are pretty cool today, of course. So the perspective I'd like to bring to us today is the sheer physicality, the importance of the body. In Jewish theology, of course, uh, probably more so than what became Christian theology, but certainly here, um, Peter is preaching in Acts. He's preaching in the home of Cornelius the Tanner. This is a big deal. This is something that would have made Peter's flesh crawl to even go in to this building. But he has received very firm instructions from the Lord. We'll read the, that passage at another, at another Eucharist. But that's sort of the background. But he's in there preaching the good news that, that Jesus rose from the dead. And there's freedom in this, right? Now, Paul... In 1 Corinthians, the context here, of course, is we're, we're in Passover, and Tommy Lee, you could probably tell us after Mass a little more even about this from the perspective of Paul the rabbi. But first we have Passover, and then the people celebrate the Feast of Unleavened Bread. 
where there was no yeast. Um, when my first instinct when I read the words yeast in the scripture is to think about Jesus talking about the kingdom as yeast, which is a good thing. But here Paul is warning us that we're not alone. We are connected to each other. So if there's a problem in the community, it's going to, it can infect others. Um, so the context is that there is a stepson and a stepmother living together in the community. And apparently the community is, um, in Paul's words, bragging about it. So I imagine from my 21st century American New Yorker female perspective, I probably would have sympathy for this couple, maybe if I knew the circumstances. But Paul is freaking out. He's like, what is the matter with you people? And he warns that that kind of negative yeast also infects the community. And one reason why uh, I chose this passage today is because so many of us are working so very hard to prevent exactly that. You know, the idea is that the actions of one are not private. It doesn't just impact the couple involved. It doesn't just impact that one person. My actions, when I'm selfish, it impacts other people. And so as what will probably go from days to weeks of um, social isolation, we need, and as the weather gets better, it might be tempting to um, forget that. And I think that the Holy Spirit providing us this reminder today is really a blessing in, and during the pandemic that what I do has a greater impact for good, right? The yeast that, of the kingdom, but also for, for bad. So we need to protect each other. Now, um, Lori's going to speak more on the gospel but I just, this is, this is just, there's so much here, right? Now, obviously Jesus' body, the, the gospel, John is trying, the community is trying to express that his body couldn't have been stolen rapidly in the haste. They didn't just drag his bloody corpse out of the tomb because the cloth, the head cloth was rolled and placed neatly. When John, when the disciple Jesus loved saw that detail, that cinched it for him. He knew there was something going on. What struck me for today um, is that Mary stayed. Mary stayed. She stayed weeping, confused, but she stayed. And so in this time of suffering and confusion, um, and we hope in resurrection, right? We know Jesus rose from the dead, and we know that our bodies are sacred. The time of suffering, suffering, perhaps the challenge for us might be just to stay, to stay by the tomb. Weep if you have to, but stay, and Jesus will come to us. All right, Lori, thank you. Well, I love this. this um, the scene in the garden uh, with a woman makes me think of the scene in Genesis where the woman was cursed. Mm -hmm. And in this scene, she's glorified, empowered, <laughs> liberated, you know. Uh, it's the opposite of the um, the scene in Genesis. This, he, he says to her, Mary, and to call someone's name is to create them, to make them new. And that's what he did to her. He made her a new creation. You know, in Christ, we're a new creation. And not only that, but he sent her to be the first Christian witness. So it's the opposite of everything that supposedly happened to Eve and, and supposedly, therefore, to all women. It's the opposite. So this is a great scene of, of liberation uh, and redemption, especially for women, at least in my view. <laughs> and um, I would like to share a, a kind of a weird personal experience I had uh, one time. I, I've always been kind of devoted to Mary Magdalene, and I've always been very conscious of her feast day and, uh, you know, observed it kind of, you know, and uh, 
when I was working and I used to drive back and forth to work, I <laughs> used to have kind of like mystical experiences while I was driving. I probably shouldn't have had a license, you know, <laughs> but, <laughs> but anyway, um, I did. And uh, one year on the Feast of Mary Magdalene, all of a sudden, it was like I saw with her eyes, I was with her and I saw it. I mean, I have no doubt that Jesus literally rose from the dead. No doubt whatsoever. I mean, I believe this in in a material sense, not a conceptual sense or a spiritual sense. I mean, maybe those two, but flesh and blood. He rose from the dead. He did. I bear witness. Okay. okay. Thank you. Let's take a deep breath of gratitude. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, Maura. I have this on my altar today. So. Let, us, let us join in our profession of faith. We believe, we believe and, and trust. 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 In one God, the Almighty Maker of Earth and the cosmos, of all that is visible, invisible, known, and unimaginable. We believe and trust that the Lord Jesus Christ, the firstborn of God, is one in being with Abba, and that through Christ all things were made. We believe, we believe and, and trust. trust. That for the salvation of us all, he came down from heaven, and that by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became flesh. We believe and we trust. Believe and we trust. trust that Jesus was crucified for our sake, that under Pontius Pilate he suffered, died, and was buried, rising three days later as promised in the Holy Scriptures. We, we believe, believe and trust. And trust. That Jesus ascended into heaven and is seated at God's right hand, ready to return in glory. He will judge the living and the dead, and God's reign will have no end. We, we believe, believe and trust, and trust. We believe and trust. in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life and inspiration of the prophets, who comes forth from the Father, with the Father and the Son. She is worshipped and glorified. We believe, we believe and trust. Believe and trust. In one universal apostolic church, that one baptism washes away our sins and brings us to new life in Christ. We believe, we believe in, trust. in trust. In the promised resurrection of the dead and our eternal life in the new Jerusalem. Amen. 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 As we are open to the light of the Spirit, let us go where our hearts call us, that we may offer prayers for blessings needed and give thanks for blessings received. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for Jesus, Jesus alive and risen. We thank you for all the resurrection in our lives, the little many resurrections we witness all the time, and the hope, the hope of more life, everlasting life, ever new and ever present. We thank you and we praise you. We pray. Jesus, Jesus, um, this is obviously a tough time for everything, um, but uh, as a letter carrier, and it's a tough time for me too, um, uh, but my two favorite times of the year is spring and Halloween week. And the reason for that is, at least in relation to being a letter carrier, uh, the, the, the reason for that is, is Halloween week, like 50% of the houses or more are decorated and probably like 5% of the houses go all out. I mean, things all over the yard and lights and I'm walking up to the door and a spider comes down from the awning, you know, like an a, a electronic spider. And actually, you know, I've been scared and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's very interesting. It's very fun. But for the springtime, it is, um, it is the, flow the flowers. Mm -hmm. I get to see all the flowers as I walk around. And it's just a reminder that there's rebirth 
and there's renewal and there's life after the quote unquote dead time of winter. And uh, it's beautiful. I end up taking pictures and sometimes I get caught by residents. I know I'm not supposed to take pictures, but I'm taking pictures of their flowers, not, not their houses. So I hope they don't mind. And then uh, recently I've been trying to post them online and it's just, it's just a really wonderful time. We, uh, so thank you, uh, Lord, for nature and spring and Easter, we pray. Jesus, hear our prayer. Just for healing for all the members of our, our church community um, and all the jurisdictions, any, any illnesses, any um, physical problems that people are encountering, just for a wonderful healing at this time of year, a, a rebirth and healing, and that all may be well, we pray. Jesus. Jesus. For all like the say, great Doc. spiritual women like Mary Magdalene. Mm -hmm. We pray. Jesus. 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 I would like to say Doc Hammarskjöld's prayer. Oh, for right. everything that has been, thank you. For everything that is to come, yes. Jesus. Lord, at this time of resurrection, we remember those who grieve. And we remember our own beloveds who are now with you. And we especially lift up those who recently lost. We lift up Scott. We lift up Sharon. We lift up Michael and Alicia. We lift up Susie's dad, Happy, and her cousin. We lift up all who grieve, and we lift up the spirits and the hearts of those we miss, and we look forward to the day when we are all reunited. We pray. Jesus, hear our Jesus, hear our prayer. For a spirit of generosity in the world, we pray. Jesus, Jesus hear our prayer. For all those who are on the front lines who are dealing with the pandemic, all those who are putting their own lives in danger, and no matter what way, the health care carriers, health care people, letter carriers, mm. delivery people, we pray for them that you may sustain their health. And give them strength. Jesus, hear our prayer. We lift up those who are cut off from their normal community celebrations. I know people are truly suffering this day, especially Easter. People really miss their communal celebrations, seders. Please, Lord, comfort your people. Help us to find ways to be together and support each other, we pray. Jesus, hear our prayer. Jesus, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. We praise and thank you for the abundance of your grace, looking to the gathering together of us all, in the fullness of Christ. Amen. 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 Jesus told us that before we offer our gifts at the altar, we should make peace with our brothers and sisters, with Christ as the author of all peace. Let's offer a sign of Christ's peace to each other. Peace, everybody. Peace and love. Peace, Melissa. Special peace brother. to you. Sorry for the confusion <laughs> before. Peace, <laughs> Melissa. It's okay. No worries. <laughs> Yay. And peace with you, Laurie. I apologize. I forgot your. And uh, and peace to the viewer that's. Uh, we've got one viewer online right uh, now. Peace, so peace friend. to you. Peace, peace to you as well.
the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbly comes to share in our humanity. With hearts lifted high, we offer thanks and praise to you, living God. In the communion of your love, you come close to us, and we come close to you. Blessed are you, of all creation, through your goodness. We have the harvest of the fields and fruit of the vine to offer, which earth has given, and human hands have made into bread and wine. They will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Blessed are we also as we offer ourselves to you. You are glorified in us, and your life renews the world. Living God, creator of all holiness, source of all love, fountain of all wisdom, you dry our tears and turn our pain to joy. You enter the empty places of our hearts. You enter our own tombs and bring your light into our darkness. You take the broken pieces of our lives and restore them, us, to a new creation. You bring order out of chaos, saving us by love. The love shown by the cross, the love which is with us now. The love which carries us through death to resurrection. With the holy angels of light and with the whole company of heaven, with those who have gone before us, and with those who shall come after, with brothers and sisters, east and west, and with all our loved ones separate from us now, who yet in this mystery are close to us, we join in the realization of your unending greatness. Holy, holy, holy. holy. God of power, God of might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Holy, 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 Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are they who come in the name of the of most high God. Holy, 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 holy. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Abba God, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before Christ was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which is broken and now given up for you. Okay. When supper when was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It's shed for you and for all, so that sin may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. As we celebrate these holy mysteries, may we and all for whom we pray be open to the glory of your presence, the beauty of your song, and the healing power of your love. For without you, we are as nothing, and our lives are empty and dead. By the power of this holy sacrament, turn us that we turn to you. Revive us that we live your life on earth. 
and inspire us that we proclaim your glory in thankfulness and praise now and forever. Mm -hmm. Father, remember those who take part in this offering. Remember Joe, our late founding bishop, Kate and Catherine, our bishops, Bishop Bridge, and bishops, clergy, and those in formation everywhere. Remember those here present and all your people and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember those who have died in the peace of Christ and those whose faith is known to you alone. Remember our friends and loved ones who have passed through the veil. In baptism, they died with Christ. May they also share in Christ's resurrection. We remember Michael, Sharon, Alicia. We have prayed for the gift of yourself through this bread, which we break in your name. We have prayed for the gift of yourself through this cup, which is set before us. May the sacrament be for us the bread of heaven, the cup of salvation. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Jesus taught us to call God our Abba, our loving parent. With confidence, let us pray to God in the way Jesus taught us, as recorded by Matthew and Luke. Our Abba in heaven, Abba in heaven. holy is your name. May your reign come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the bread of tomorrow and forgive us our shortcomings as we also forgive those who fail us. Don't let us be subjected to the test and free us from evil. Free us, O oh God, from every evil. And grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the ultimate authority, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Holy God. Holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Holy God, Lamb of God. Grant us your peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, we eat your body and drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health in spirit, mind, and body. The life of Christ is offered for the life of the world. Here is Christ coming to us in bread and wine. This is the gift of God for the people of God. Jesus, you make us worthy to welcome and receive you. You give us the gifts that make us whole. Christ, our Passover is indeed sacrifice for us. Let us keep the feast. Be blessed, my friends, viewing in the name of God. Be blessed. Be blessed, friends, by the blood of Christ.
In thankfulness, let us offer praise. The gifts of the universe have been given to us. The gift of the presence of God. Gifts of light have been given to us. The gift of the love of God. So may we, and all creation, give of ourselves. Life may be complete, and we may enter the fellowship which is both human and divine, temporal and eternal. May we go forward on our journey in the strength of the Spirit, as we have shared heavenly things, so may we now find heaven in earthly things. Amen. 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 Beloved family, let us ask for God's blessing. Tommy Lee, I'm going to ask you to read the whole thing. We need to hear your voice here. Okay. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the Prince of Peace to you. May the strength of God guide us this day. May God's power preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the eye of God watch over us, the ear of God hear us. The word of God give gentleness to our speech, and may the hand of God defend us always. And may we follow the way of God and always. Amen. Amen. And may Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit of His Holy Spirit, bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. 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 Our celebration has ended. Let us go in peace and love to serve God and one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Happy Easter! Woo! Hey,